pound 12 to 15 black peppercorns let the mixture be coarsely not a fine powder keep it aside until further use now take 200 grams of soya chunks add two and a half cups of hot water now add half a tablespoon of salt and soak the soya chunks for about 20 minutes After 20 minutes, extract the excess water from the soya chunks and place them into another bowl. Now take a blender and transfer the soya chunks into the blender and blend it for about 3 seconds, not more. The texture should be minced. Now add finely chopped coriander leaves followed by 1 cup of finely chopped onions. Add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and 2 tablespoon of pounded black pepper. Add 1 tablespoon of amchur powder and 1 tablespoon of garam masala. I'm using mixture of 3 tablespoon of maize flour and 3 tablespoon of sattu powder. If you do not have the sattu powder, you can roast the basin and you can use it too. Now add 1 tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of cumin powder followed by 1 4 teaspoon of chaat masala. Finally add 1 tablespoon of spring onion greens. As the soya is already moist, you don't need any water. If you feel like adding more water, just sprinkle some water and start making your patties. Take a small portion of mixture and press them against your both palms and give a patty shape. Repeat the same with the rest of the mixture. Refrigerate the patties for about an hour. After one hour, just heat a pan and add 1 tablespoon of oil. Spread the oil evenly and now start adding the patties. Cook each side of the patties for 5 to 6 minutes on a medium flame. After 6 minutes, flip it to another side and allow it to cook for about 6 minutes again. After 6 minutes, turn off the stove and take it into a serving plate. Serve this kebabs with mint chutney or tomato ketchup. Try this 100% healthy and protein rich snack and let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next video with another recipe. Until then, happy cooking.